All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick crop effect. Uh, my sequence settings are 1280 by 720. My clip settings are 1920 by 12, uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, first clip we're going to bring over to the sequence is this one. We're going to keep the sequence settings the same because the clip is 1080 and we're editing the 720. Uh, let's make this clip a little bit shorter. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to take the same clip and we're going to overlay it right on top of it. We're going to just cut it down make it the same size. The same size just for the time being. Uh, as you can see right here this clip is actually a little bit bigger than what it should be so we come right here uh, right click if you have a mouse control click if you don't and we're going to go to scale the frame size as we see it makes it you know what I'm saying get covers you know makes the image a little bit smaller uh, we can cut the eye off and we can see that this one is zoomed in and this one is not so we're going to keep it like that we're going to uh, come over here to the fix type in crop and drag this effect over here to the clip that's on video too. We drop that and we come over here. The percentage for the crop for the top is going to be 20%. It'll enter and it brings it down that much. Uh, we're going to do the same thing for the bottom. 20% enter and brings it in that much. Uh, I just add, you know, the, the definition between the background and the foreground. We're going to add a black and white effect. So we're going to type in black and white to the effects window. Grab this control and bring this on a video that's on video one and drop it right here. As you can see, the background clip has became black and white. If you want to, you can come in to the effects control and, you know, you can tweak it. Well, actually, well, you actually can't tweak the black and white and that actual thing. So don't even worry about it. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to add the little bars to go over top of the uh, the foreground clip to show the definition between the foreground and the background. Uh, we're going to go to title, new title, default still, and we're going to title this one lines. Hit OK. Okay, and when this pulls up, we're going to draw the lines. First, what we do is we click the rectangle tool that is right here. Uh, let's bring this, stretch this out a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw the rectangle line from over, from start from the outside of the clip and drag it all the way across to outside of that side. And make this a little bit thinner, like so. Once we have that, we come over here to the color and we're going to change it from white to black hit ok and as it changes it to black so what we need to do is we need to bring this down a little bit to hide the lines and then what we do is we right we right click command uh, I mean on mine I have a mouse so I right click but if you don't have a mouse you can control I mean yeah control click and it bring up the same window and hit copy I know it doesn't look like it made a copy, but it actually did. Uh, so what we're going to do now is hit Control uh, V to paste. It. Now we actually made a duplicate. It's, it, but it made the duplicate right on top of each other. So all we do is we click this and drag this down, which is our duplicate. We're going to drag it right over this line, like so. Once we have that, we close this. Then we come back over here to our project, and it's actually the last file, which is this one. Drag this one on top of both of them, and now we have the line effect. We need to make sure that this clip is the link that we need it to be of the effect, and there we have our line effect. What's up, sci fi? The most in the so I mean, we can come back and we can add our color correction. Like I'm adding a brightening, brightening contrast on top of the first video clip, and you know we can tweak our colors a little bit. If you want to, you can add the magic bullet or whatever. But you know.
know, just to give it a little bit of, you know, color correction. Or well, I had the same brightness and contrast to the, to the background clips, make the blacks a little bit stronger. They bring our brightness down a little bit. Bring our contrast up some. And do that for my final effect. But you can add any effects you want to to it once you have it. And there is your crop effect. Mm -hmm. We ready. What's up, sci fi? The most in the My, you know, my shit got a pre run mm -hmm. and shit, but we ain't gonna worry about all that. 